Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Alps Mountaineering Lynx 1 One Person Tent. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me today. I want to show you this tent. This is something that I have um, been wanting to review for a while. I have not set it up yet, so this is going to be the first time it gets set up. What I know about it, I know from either watching YouTube reviews or reading reviews online. So we're going to find out just how easy it is to set up. They say it's very easy. The Lynx one's loaded with features. It's great for a one-person type getaway type backpacking. Um, I'm thinking awesome for a bug out bag. It can be broken down a little bit smaller than this. This seems kind of big, but you can tell by my hand, it's not huge. It can be a little bit smaller and lighter. It's freestanding, which I like because where you may be setting up your tent, you may not always be able to put stakes down. Especially when you're looking at bug out situations where you may be on concrete, you may be on a hard surface, you may even be in a shelter, unfortunately, you may be stuck there. You may want some privacy, so you can set that up. So it's freestanding. It's got pole clips that attach to the aluminum poles very, very easily. Sets up real simply. We're going to find that out. I haven't done it myself yet. It's got extra large number 8 zippers on the door and the vestibule. And what's really nice about it is I've noticed that the walls are mostly mesh. So for a single wall tent, that will really help with the ventilation. Okay, you won't get all stuffy inside. It won't get all, you know, it won't drip and rain on you. When it, uh, when it starts getting a little cold or windy out or with condensation in the mornings. So, Alps Factory seals the fly and the floor seams, coats the floor with 200 millimeters for, of sealant to keep you dry and when you run into a rain shower. Now, something about this, it doesn't come with the, uh, what is it, the floor mat, the footprint, but um, you can order it for 20 or $30 more. Personally, I think that's kind of expensive. You know, I think you could probably run to a local fabric store and buy some coated ripstop nylon, buy the yard and make your own. Um, what I'm going to do when I pack this away is I'm going to be using a uh, very cheap little ripstop nylon footprint um, tarp from Walmart. These run about 8 bucks total with tax. Um, I forget the size on them. They're 5 feet wide by 7 feet long. So it's more than enough room to set up if you're going to be out in wet or rainy conditions. Um, for our uses today, we're not going to use a floor mat for this. We're just going to set it up because um, we're just showing it, setting it up to show you what it looks like. Now, inside, it's fully equipped with storage pockets, a gear loft. The poles are 775 aluminum. It does have guy ropes in it if you want to guy it out, okay, in windy conditions. And in windy conditions, I would recommend staking it down and guying it out. Uh, and it's got one doorway. The base size is 7 feet 6 inches by 2 feet 8 inches. Center height is 3 feet. The vestibule depth, this little area in here, let me show you that, is 32 inches. Tent area, the square footage is about 20 square feet. The vestibule area is about 10 square feet. Minimum height is three, uh, minimum weight, I'm sorry, is 3.8 ounces, but they say the total weight is 4.4 ounces. There's probably a way to kind of take things down a little bit if you're not going to use all the stuff inside. Um, your, your total, your, your pack size is 6, six inches by 17.5 inches. And the pole diameters are 8.5 millimeters, okay? But we're going to see how this looks when we set it up outside. It's really cold this morning. At least for the desert, it's cold. So we're going to see how it kind of insulates me inside when I'm taking a look at the inside. I'm going to take you through step by step. We're going to set it up outside, and we're going to see just how easy it is to uh, set up. So what I'm going to do is take everything out for you and show it to you real quick, and we'll move on from there All outside. right, so I got the end open here. One of the nice things I noticed right as you open this up is sewed into the... Uh, into the fabric are instructions for setting it up. Now I have a feeling once you do this once or twice you're going to know exactly how to set it up. It doesn't look difficult to set up at all. Let me pull it out of the bag here and show you what's inside the bag itself. Loosen up those straps a little bit. There we go. Just make it easier. I know I'll have to roll it back up at the end. There. Alright, let's get rid of that cover. Now, I'm sure you could probably get a stuff sack for this and make it a little bit smaller. Um, again, if you strap this to the bottom of your pack, it really won't be an issue. All right. So, of course, we have the tent and the fly. Okay. You got your poles and your stakes. These are 70, 70 75 aluminum stakes. They look like the cheap Walmart kind that are made of steel and bend the minute you pound on them, but they're not. 
They're extremely lightweight. I couldn't believe how light they are. So um, that's what they look like. Let's take a look at the poles. Open that up. And there you go. As you can tell, this is the first time I am opening this. And there are your poles. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put the tent out, all four corners, stake it out, then you're going to crisscross these poles after you assemble them together and uh, hook everything up and everything should snap right onto the tent. So let's take it outside. I'm going to put it out flat and we'll move right, from so there. I got it all uh, laid out flat and I did just temporarily put, temporarily put some stakes into the ends on uh, each corner. I didn't even push them all the way down. And each corner will have two grommets. So when you lay out your, your tent stakes across the top, your tent poles, uh, if one is too loose, they say you can move it to the inner grommet. So let's get the tent poles laid out and uh, show you what that looks like. So there like. are your poles laid out. They look ridiculously long, but they're really not. Um, one of the nice things I did notice about the tent poles is as you pick them up, they self-assemble. They're fairly taut enough where they just, you know, the ends will just snap right together. Um, definitely, definitely better quality than tents I've tested in the past. So we're going to set up the uh, poles and I'll show you how it snaps on there and everything assembles. All right, so there you go, crisscrossed over. Um, the poles were very, very pliable. No problem bending them into shape. As you can tell, it's sitting there straight up. Um, I did attach the middle thing together to hook the poles together so they stay. Now I'm going to show you how the uh, clips attach to the uh, poles themselves, and then we'll do the rain fly. Okay, so we're on the side here, and I mean, it's almost mindlessly simple. You're just going to hook these hooks right onto the uh, pole, all the way across, and... Uh, we're going to do the rest All of the right, tent. I'm going to walk you around. That's completely set up. And I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for a quality tent that is ridiculously easy to set up, this is your guy right here. This was just so simple to put together. So let's take a quick walk around it. I'll try to keep the camera as stable as possible. Remember, this is without the rain fly. All right, so now what I'm going to do is drape the rain fly over it, and I'll show you where we go from there on the next step. All right, it's not perfect. I just kind of threw it over the top. If you'll notice down in the corners, um, each one of these uh, rain flies, each, each corner of the rain fly has a buckle on it, and it will correspond with the buckle where you stuck your poles in. There's a buckle down there, too, and you can tighten that up for as tight as you'd like to do it. So I'm going to bring you down in close, and we're going to snap that together and uh, see how it comes out. So this is what I'm talking about here. There's your buckle. And that will snap down here. And if this gets set up and it's still a little loose, we can still tighten it down or loosen it up, depending on what we need. So I'm going to snap them all in place, tighten them up, and I'm going to stake out the front over that way. And uh, I'll give you a look on the inside, and we'll give you a look on the outside again once it's fully assembled. All right, time for the walk around again. That's fully set up. And again, it's not staked down tightly or anything. You'll notice it has little windows right there to let some light in. That's from the rear. Another little window on this side. And the front where I stake down the top of the fly. So let's go on inside and see what it looks like in there. All right, we're at the bottom here of the fly. Um, I want to show you something really neat. There is some Velcro here for extra protection. So if you don't want them to just pull open there, you don't want to rip it open. There is some Velcro all the way up. You probably can't see that. That's out of camera. But I'll move you around. All right. So now you can see the inside. And that's where you'll actually be. Let's lift you up so you can see that inside there. So I'm going to get inside now and uh, give you kind of a first-person point of view if I can do that with the camera and me in there and let you know what I think about the inside. All right, we're inside. and I'm trying to film this while my head is flowing backwards. <laughs> uh, but you can get an idea inside here. 
I'm 6'1", 6'2"-ish. I fit in here perfectly. Those are my feet. And I'm able to lie down fully in here. This is your little vestibule here. Um, what I like about this is it gives you an area maybe with a small, very carefully, with a small stove. You can make a little coffee in the morning, say, right in this area. You can at least put your gear inside here, your backpack, whatever, um, so that it's nice and safe from the elements. And when you seal up the other side, this other side that's Velcroed up top there, you'll be good to go. So let me let you look at the other side here as I spin around. There you go, there's your little window. Um, this guy on the floor here is a little uh, snap in. I'm going to snap that in in a second and show you how it works. It's got a little pocket. You got a little pocket over there too. That's actually in the tent. This one snaps in. Um, I'm going to snap that in and you can stick a light in there or whatever else you need. So let me do that and I'll show you that. Okay, so there it is snapped in. And you can see you got a nice little pocket there if you want to put a light in. When you want to lie down here and read. So you got a light coming in. You have a pocket down there like I showed you before. And uh, all in all, it's a comfortable little tent. It is small for someone, say, my height. But you're just sleeping in here, you know. You're not going to be going crazy doing a ton of other activity in here. You're really just going to be sleeping in here for a bug out tent. This thing is awesome. So let me take you outside one more time and show you around. So anyway, there you go. All set up. One last walk around. I do like the fact that it's got those little windows. It does have, you see those little spots here where you can guy out the tent. Um, you do have this area up here. That little bit of Velcro opens up for a little more ventilation in there. If you want to pop that up and give yourself, whoops, lost the camera. There we go. Give yourself a little more air. So that's pretty much it and I tell you for I believe these are 80 I don't know I have to check when I get inside 85 86 bucks 89 bucks whatever you really can't beat that for a quality tent under you know the ridiculous prices where they're like three and four hundred dollars it is a three season tent however I will say that when I was inside of that like I said it's kind of cold and overcast as you can tell by the sky here kind of cold and overcast and uh I was a few degrees warmer in there, definitely. You put a mat down, you put a ground cover down, an inflatable sleeping pad, and a uh, sleeping bag. And you'd be toasty warm in there, no problem. So I'm going to take it all apart, bring it back inside, and give you a little more last information on it, and uh, give you the price exactly, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I got it all wrapped up. I wiped off the bottom really quick with a damp cloth. There's a little bit of dirt on it. I don't want to put it away dirty. But uh, I started putting it in the bag, and I'm like, you might want to see this. So I'm going to put it in here and show you. did a pretty good job wrapping it up. Um, I have to say, I am impressed with the quality of this tent so far. And the price, $84.99, so $85. I was able to get it a little smaller there, see? So we're going to cinch that down. A little bit smaller on the length. Excuse me, being out of camera there. Okay, we'll see how tight we can get the straps. Should be doing it this way. There's that. And there's that. I'll move that down a little bit. Seems like it's falling off the edge. There. So I'm, I'm assuming I could probably get a better compression sack for this but for now this will do quite well and there it is all packed up ready to go um it is a you know i got i got everything in there i'm keeping the the stakes in there i have the guy lines in there i have the you know of course the uh tent poles in there and uh it's not that bad i mean granted it's not perfect and pretty like when they packed it first but size wise and weight wise that's not bad at all now, when they say that you can uh, get it down to, what is it, uh, minimum weight, 3.8 ounces, I'm assuming that's probably taking some of the stakes out, maybe, maybe not using this stuff sack. Um, I'm not really going to do that, because this is going to go in a bug out, or underneath, actually, on the bottom, it's going to attach to self-sustainment kit for any kind of ham radio deployment or uh, cert deployment, if we were to get called out with cert or anything. So this will go on the bottom of that, 
fit in there really, really nice. It's really comfortable. I would suggest you checking it out. If you're looking for a quality tent at an affordable price, seriously, this thing is nice. Um, for, for, you know, 85 bucks, you're getting a really good tent. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content we do. We are a mostly outdoor and survival gear related type channel. Uh, I want to make sure you guys check out our Amazon store down below. I will put a link to this tent in our store down below. But check out the store. If there's nothing in there you want to buy, just click the link and shop as you normally would. Helps the channel out a little bit. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. I do have a Thrive Life video coming up soon. And uh, actually today we're going out looking for a food saver because we're going to start making some freeze-dried meals with it for uh, your, your go bags and stuff like that. Real cheap way to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay prepared.